How would the Khilafah deal with India? Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. <clears throat> the Khilafah's policy will be twofold with India. The first to settle the Kashmir issue and the second to take Islam once again to the continent. Pakistan has used the issue of Kashmir for its own political interests. It has escalated and de-escalated conflicts in this area and this land has led to no gain either from Pakistan or Kashmir. All the while the people of Kashmir have sacrificed so much of their blood in a fight against the Indian aggression. In the Khilafah, the people of Kashmir who have suffered under the oppression of India for decades will not be abandoned as a result of political expediency. The Khilafah shall seek to reunify Kashmir just as it would with any other Muslim land. When Islam descended upon the region in 1714, India had an aberrant caste system which differentiated between people of ethnic lines which led to the supremacy of princely rulers who enslaved many to work in the fields in return for basic wages. As Hindu and Buddhist kingdoms came under the twofold of Islam, the Khilafah became a highly centralized force that facilitated the creation of a common legal system that gradually replaced the caste system. Islam created a system where political power, law, and worship became fused in a manner so as to safeguard the interests of all people. This stability led to the subcontinent to become the hub between the Far East and the Mediterranean. Politically, India is a hugely fragmented nation with competing fractions with varying interests pulling and pushing across various geographical, religious, caste-based, and class-based fault lines. India's Hindu identity has today institutionalized the caste system which stratifies India into a system of hereditary groups. Islam solved this problem once before.